Uh, these are, I printed out from a brand new journal on the, uh, what we know about the environmental health effects of fracking. Here's, what, here's the title of one. Navigating medical issues in shale territory. Insights on unconventional natural gas development from shale and interview with Tony and Grafia, who's one of our foremost experts on shale. Marcella Shale Drilling's impact on the dairy industry in Pennsylvania. Number of cows go down and the milk production is going down in, in, in intensely drilled areas. Problems with disclosure of hydraulic fluid and chemical additives analysis of regulations. Community-based risk assessment of water contamination from high-volume horizontal hydraulic fracking. And these papers are just the tip of the iceberg. We in the scientific community know about data in the pipeline that are going to be coming out soon showing some pretty bad problems, including problems in newborns, born from mothers who are pregnant and living near drilling and fracking operations in Pennsylvania. All right, so what are we going to do here? Do our public elected officials in Illinois really want to be responsible when this little slim pile of paper turns into an avalanche of evidence for harm? Because they did not have the good sense to declare a moratorium first, do the studies while we keep people out of and then make the decision based on the science as a precondition for whether to move forward or not. And what's worse, those endorsing and voting on this bill have not even been bothered to conduct an even one fact-finding mission. The senators and assembly members voting to allow fracking in Illinois have not conducted even a single fact-finding field trip to the gas lands in Pennsylvania, only 45 minutes from where I live now, They've paid no official visits to the sand hills of Wisconsin and Minnesota to see firsthand the ruination that strip mining for frac sand can bring to both land and people. And yet, they are ready to vote for regulated fracking. My grandfather, who farmed in Livingston County, would label that kind of irresponsibility buying a pig in a poke. Today, we read that a single wildcat whale has already been fracked in, in White County. Remarkably, this discovery is touted by Natural Resources Defense Council as good reason for passing the regulatory bill. From my perspective, that's like discovering a rapist in the community and deciding that we need a law man mandating that all those planning to make, commit sexual assault must wear condoms. <laughs> this news is also a distraction. Yes, fracking, used in the narrow sense, the way industry likes to use the word, has been legal for years, and yes, in limited it's occurring now, but what's not occurring in significant here in Illinois is significant development of gas and oil from shale bedrock, which requires many closely spaced wells and grid pattern, forest fragmentation, destruction of farmland, volumes of fracking fluid approaching 6 million gallons, not 640,000 gallons. That's what's not happening here in Illinois, and that's what is going to be permitted with this regulatory bill tip, tips forward. Two wrongs do not make a right. That's something else I learned from my Illinois grandfather. The answer to unregulated fracking is not regulated fracking. It's a moratorium. It's the only answer. And saying that you want a moratorium while signaling your willingness to permit and regulate is not the way to get a moratorium. Shale gas and oil extraction via high volume horizontal fracking is an atrocity. It's an assault on public health, air quality, our precious freshwater resources, and the climate itself. There's no way to do it right, and those who claim otherwise are on the wrong side of history.